What's going on everybody? It's your boy X here and just by the start I'm saying I'm sorry about the uh the quality of the audio and stuff. I'm not using my mic. It's not plugged in and stuff. So uh um if it sounds different, I I'm sorry, but man, I have been playing the living hell out of this beta and I think it's time to give my impressions about the beta. And stuff. So you guys have not checked out already, I just uh posted my uh you know, my first reaction to the beta when I first played it, I think it was me playing through A Day and stuff, you know, just getting a feel for it and stuff to see, you know, how I get stuff. But I think I played it long enough and stuff. I, you know, I, I'm at the end game and stuff like that, and uh, I got a lot to talk about. But I'm not gonna talk about it in front of the, in front of the camera. I'm gonna talk about it while I'm on the screen in my set. So I'm sorry for events. I'm gonna um about the audio quality is going uh, no i'm going to be using my game and headset to talk and cover my thoughts but uh anyway uh if you guys enjoy make sure that you smash the like button subscribe if you are new and make sure that you click that bell so you can notify for every single video i upload and uh yeah enjoy man oh man do i got a lot to talk about this beta is about to be a long one, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but uh, <laughs> I hope you guys, uh, you know, been you know enjoying the beta or playing the beta, you know, trying it out and stuff to see if you like it or not and stuff. And you know, I'm pretty much um, you know at the end point of the beta and stuff. I play almost like not like all the missions, but you know, I'm getting there slowly, just trying to feel it out and stuff like that. Uh, uh, but you no, know, like I said, uh, if you guys have not seen my live impression when I first started the playing stuff, so you guys can check that out and stuff like that. But um, you know, I've been playing this and stuff, and I want to get this out uh, before Sunday, before the beta ends and stuff. So that's why I've been trying just to play it, you know, I'm trying to get my feel for it, get all my thoughts together and stuff. I got my notes here, so I don't get all off track and stuff so like i do um i'm gonna, I'm gonna start out by talking about the story slash the missions I'm, talk, I'm gonna discuss the gameplay uh the combat skills characters the loot the mission design and the outfits then i'll be talking about the graphics my likes and then my dislikes and there's a uh, basically like a lot of them but uh I'll go over later, so, so if you guys do enjoy my impressions, because uh, I got a lot to say and stuff. Now, I'm going to start by saying I am enjoying myself for the most part in this beta. Like, uh, it's very Destiny-like style and stuff, but it j just without the charm. Of it's missing those few things, but I'll get into that and stuff. But while further ado, I'm just gonna jump right in and stuff. So, uh, make sure that you have your snacks on board, your drinks, and uh, let's get into it. So, starting off the story. So, I can't really dive deep into the story because I only play like two, it was only like two to three missions of the story. So, uh, but why I play uh, the, the most part and stuff, it's uh good okay uh you play you play a day uh when you first open the beta and stuff and we all seen it and stuff and then you play uh a number shit as uh kamala i think her name is and then uh bruce uh you know the hawk and stuff um you know i'm excited about the um you know the, the like the voice actors that they had they have laura bailey as black widow they have Troy Baker as uh, Bruce, and then they have uh, Nolan North as Iron Man and stuff like that. So, of course, all the top, like, Naughty Dog and stuff, you know, things that they have. So, uh, you know, that's why I'm looking, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to just to see how it, to just to see how it, it, uh, uh, it is. Uh, now, missions. Uh, now missions, you have different kinds of missions and stuff. So I'm gonna uh, pull it up right now, so I can actually, you know, look at it for myself. So I think you have so many different type of missions. So you have, um, okay, so you have drop zone missions where it's like, um, basically, like you know, you go to point A to point B, complete a complete a objective, and then you know, bam, the mission is complete. These missions are very short, and you know, could 
just last for like 10 minutes and stuff if you want to be uh, uh, through it and stuff like that. Um, you know, you have all, you know, you, you know, you different, uh, missions stuff that you can play. I think there's war zones, uh, there's villain sectors, which I haven't, uh, got to play yet. Um, and uh, I think there's other ones. Basically, there's, you know, uh, you know, different kinds of missions. And plus, you know, here you have your, uh, training room. So you can, uh, if it's like a, it's like a hologram training room where you can, you know, uh, you know, test out your, uh, just practice your skills with your, with the different heroes, or, and, like, the more you go through it, the more you can increase the difficulty, but, you know, just to test out your skills, practice, and stuff, you would need to practice, and stuff, the, the, the combat is not, like, button mashy as you think it is, and stuff, it is, but, you know, you can, you can get, you can die really quickly and stuff, cause there's so many enemies on the screen. So uh, if if you, when you unlock this, just hop into it, try out all the heroes and get accustomed to it and stuff. You know that's just the mission and the story is uh, most part and stuff. Like I said, I can't dive too deep into it and stuff until I play the full game for myself and stuff. Then I'll get my you know review and stuff like that. But uh, moving on to what made this game so intriguing. The game so I'm gonna start off saying okay so the combat now um, here's what I really like like when I first saw this game and the how the combat was and you know you know everything and stuff I was just like wow this is this is what I wanted from like a suit like a as much like a venture game but a super hit game in general just how that how like each how like each uh, hero, you know, move differently. How um, you know how they function and everything. How do you different enemy types? How can you know you can work together? Stuff, uh, special moves and abilities like that. It was just like it just looks so good and stuff like that. So the combat is really what it treated me the most and stuff. But uh, for, uh, for the most part, it is you know, uh, fun, and then, another thing is the skills, so, uh, the skills and stuff is, is another thing in this game that, um, that I really, you know, when they showed off was really intrigued, so, each hero, uh, has their own skills, and stuff, their own, their own skill trees, in total, you get three, uh, skill trees per character, so you got your primary, which is, like, focused on light attacks, uh, aerials, heavy attacks, uh, you got your range attacks, okay, and then you got your, uh, no, I did, like, like special attacks and stuff like that, and you got, and you have, your, like, your ultimate and stuff like that. And then, uh, you know, basically, you know, it's like that, uh, you know, so, so you, so you can, uh, unlock skill point by doing missions, leveling up and stuff, uh, the skills, uh, really do help the combat and stuff, cause when you, when the base first starts, the combat is pretty simple with basic combos and stuff, but once you unlock skills and stuff, it really does open up and, you know, like, 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 like the combat and you can be able to do more and stuff like that. So, those, so the skills I really like, I just gotta see more, uh, of the matches and actually a lot more to see how they actually play out, but for the most part and stuff, I'm liking it. Next, gear. Now, this is like a topic that I'm going to talk in in my uh, dislike. But I just wanted to uh, d know. So, you get deer, and I'm probably going to tie this into loot too. So, um, basically, um, you know, each it's a, it's a loot based game. Now, you get different gear, you get gauntlets, you get braces and stuff. Every character has their different amount of loot drops. So there's a power level. The higher your power level is, the more powerful you are. You see in the middle, you have your perks and stuff like that. Your resources on the bottom and stuff like that. And then your, your artifacts. So by doing missions, you can get loot drops and stuff like that. I'm getting later why I didn't... I, want them to change this but um yeah the the, the loop progression is there it's good but you know it's not great and stuff but i'll get into that why it's a very de it's very destiny 
similar and stuff like that. But um, you know, if 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 you're if you're if you're a Destiny fan, you'll fall right at home. But um, the characters. So now, so the beta, okay, uh, like a course and stuff has uh, you know, um, different characters and stuff. So you have uh, Miss Marvel. You have Iron Man, you have the Hawk, and you have Black Widow that you play for, um, play from. Uh, basically, um, you can play as Thor and Captain America right in um, um, doing a day, but that, but then that's it and stuff. And you only have those, you know, to pick from and stuff like that. So I don't know how I feel about that and stuff. Cause I wanted, I really wanted to play as Thor to see his gameplay, his hammer and stuff. When I was playing with him, I really liked how they tweaked his, you know, uh, 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 uh combat and stuff like that. I don't really know how I, you know, just feel about that. You know, you can only play as certain characters, but I'm gonna show you the characters right now. So, like I said, you have, you know, you have Hawk. Uh, you have uh, Iron Man, and you have Black Widow and stuff. All characters can be customized, different. Like I said, you know, I'm not gonna go over every damn, but you know, you guys get the, you guys get the gist of it. Okay, so moving on, mission designs. So now, the mission designs is where it just, this is what is like a hit or miss. So like I said, you have, you know, your your practice room, uh, you have your drop zones and stuff, war zones. The drop zones are basically like very similar, uh, especially in the environment. They're very similar, very like, I guess, small. So, you know, you have either stand this one place until the computer or Jarvis, uh, you know, finish hacking in and you got the five waves of, uh, waves of, uh, of enemies and stuff was that which I you know don't really like that and then the next one is you know you know kill all the enemies um you know in, in the room or something so until they put, put the mission so they put like you know elite enemies and you gotta kill all all the captains and stuff like that you know and then yeah you, know, you have other ones where you got to go to like A B C or D and destroy them and you know band missions done now if you playing as with your team like real people you guys can just blow right through that but if you playing with your AI teammates they will not attack the objective and stuff they just fight all the other random guys and stuff and you have to do all the work and stuff which I kind of find that odd but whatever and then it's so basically just it boils down to that you got sand one spot until how long kill all enemies in the room or wave the enemies and then just uh get to a uh, destroy a b c or, or d or go to a certain point and stuff so it's very straightforward and stuff uh these spaces drop zones um uh, you know are very limited you know you, they're, they're, they're open areas, but, you know, that, you know, there's only like chests and everything like that. So it's not, it's not worth looking around for and stuff like that, but you know, they're okay. This is not, this is not my, uh, my cup of tea and stuff, which I will enjoy replaying and stuff, but you know, I'll get that to that later. And then, um, of course you got the character, uh, customization and stuff like that. So character customization and stuff so uh basically uh you can't um the gear that you get uh that is dropped like the loot it cannot change the appearance of your character the only way you can change the appearance of your character is unlocking suits or skins for your for, for your character and stuff every character has um a skin that you can unlock and stuff like that um i think by doing missions or you know you know, doing their calling, uh, the challenge car and stuff. You got like skins and stuff like that, and stuff, which is cool and stuff. There's a lot of skins you can choose from. I think they're adding more. Uh, you know, you have emotes, uh, you have name plates and stuff like that. So, you know, it it, it is it is cool. It's not nice. It's a nice touch and stuff, but you know, it's there if you care. 
Next topic, we're going to talk about the graphics and stuff. The graphics are good. It is good. It's, they a little rough. They a little rough around the edges and stuff. Especially there's text in, there's there's popping textures and stuff. So sometimes when you go into a map, the textures will load in like you know a minute or a few seconds after you ready, you know, start playing stuff. So the graphics are okay and stuff for the most part. They're not like jaw dropping or you know like high detail stuff, but they're okay and stuff. But uh, you know, what can you expect this stuff? Um. So, uh, now we'll get into uh, my likes. And sadly, there's only a few of them. Okay, so, my likes. Um, you have, I like the combat. Now, the combat for what it is and stuff and stuff, it's fun. It's enjoyable. You know, there's, you know, you can experiment, stuff like that. Unlock new skills, try them out, stuff like that. No, that that is that is fun. The skills, like I said, you know, to unlock new moves, new abilities, and stuff like that. It is good. It is fun. It is you know, you know, it's engaging. You know, you can try new things and stuff. Uh, I like the characters. Um, you know, uh, what they have, the most part and stuff. My favorite right now is uh, I'm a huge Hawk fan, so. I love the hawk, so that's why I mean, even though his combat is, you know, you know, very stiff and stuff, and needs to be tweaked and stuff. You know, one one of my mains is is the hawk and stuff like that. But no, I I like all the characters and stuff like that. So you know, no good job on that one. They feel unique. They feel true to themselves and stuff. You know, when you play as Iron Man, you feel like Iron Man. You fly around. And stuff like that, but I, I get into to the movement and stuff uh, later. But you know, you play as a hawk and stuff. You feel like the hawk, especially Miss Marvel and Black Widow and stuff. Well, Black Widow is just she's she's a total black uh, um, badass and stuff. But yeah, uh, like I said, I do like the the you know the outfits of the customization and stuff. You get your different outfits and stuff like that. But those are my likes uh, for the most part and stuff. Like I said. You know, very small stuff. Now I'll get to my dislikes. And this is going to be where I really want them to, to improve on this and stuff. I have a lot of dislikes. First dislike is the mission design. The mission design... Now, I know that this is a loop-based game. You're going to have you, you're going to be grinding the same missions over and over again and stuff like that. But if those missions are not fun... And first rate, you're not gonna do them. Okay, so the mission design is very bad. Okay, now I know I'm a Destiny fan, but Destiny has, you know, somewhat of like a better mission design and stuff than this. Okay, they, they just like stay in one spot over and over again, go from this objective to this objective and stuff. It's very tedious and stuff, especially stuff. When you're when you're fighting groups of enemies, ways of enemies where they can overswarm you. You got shield enemies. You got enemies where like you know powers and everything. And you said just stay in this one spot until I finish. And it takes so long and stuff. It just makes it frustrating and stuff. It makes you not want to replay the mission to to grind to get to you know to level up and get and get loot like that and stuff like that. Um, so the mission design is where I do not, I do not like, I wish that they can prove on, make the drop zones more like engaging and stuff and not just the same old, same old and stuff like that. Um, you know, cause it's, 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 it's very repetitive, very repetitive. Um, next, my next one is loot and loot customizations. The loot in this game does not matter at all i am a huge fan of looter shooters or you know loot based games and i'm very disappointed at the way loot is handled in this number one loot customization loot does not change your appearance that is a big part 
of a loot based game when you get a certain drop or a certain gun or a certain piece of armor and to put that on you and change how you look to say i got that i grinded that mission to get this weapon or to get this piece of armor the fact that your gear does not change your appearance is a huge it's a huge disappointment to me and stuff i know it, it's gonna it's gonna drive more people away from the game at the end because it's like well why do i have to grind this this war zone this drop zone for this piece of gear and i can't see what it looks like and so, and, and, and all you get is the stats or the perks. That's that's all you get. You so you see on the top, your numbers will go up and stuff. You can become more powerful, but it doesn't show it. Why? Why? You're making a loot based game. Loot should you have to make the loot change your appearance? It's one of the players that if it it gives players that motivation to keep going to keep chasing that cool little stuff so i hope that they do not stick with this idea because if they do this game is gonna you know die in the long run people are gonna lose interest say i'm not grinding and stuff like that you know and the stop caring and stuff the loot in this game and stuff you know you don't is the, is non-existent it kind of reminds me of like anthem now I'm not going to compare Anthem to this game because Anthem was a total, you know, failure. But it kind of does. Like, the loot. Like, you have the combat. It's like it's like Anthem. They It had the combat. It had those god-tier flight mechanics. But what it didn't have is the loot. It's like this game is suffering from the same thing that Anthem went through. Except instead of taking a page out of Destiny's book, which a lot of games now are copying off of Destiny, they should take a page out of their book and say, you know what? I bet you players would like this, you know, to, to, to have different gears and stuff. You can see, you can see it on the screen. Do you see this? How it looks different and stuff. That's what you want to see on your character. So I think Drayden this game suffers from that anthem. How they did it with the loot and stuff like that. I know I've been talking about this for, for a minute now. But I it's one of the most biggest disappointments. Is the loot customization is not there. Loot drops are not there. You don't care about the loot. Like you would if you can see it. Like if in your Iron Man too. And like the like the hawk and stuff. This game like you know gloves or like you know chains or something to say, damn, that's cool and stuff. To you know to to, to, to look. and it's a third person. Why is Destiny first person and they have and they have gear customization and the only time you can see your character is if you're holding a sword or you're in a tower or in cutscenes. But either that or you're in first person. This is a third person game. You're seeing your character on screen at all times. Yes, you know, getting outfits and stuff might be cool, but I don't really care about getting outfits like that or unlocking outfits like that. This is a loot based game. It's like I would care about outfits if this wasn't a loot based game. It's like, it was like a single player game. I would care about it, but this is a loot based game. I'm chasing loot. I'm chasing loot. I'm not chasing outfits. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, that is a major, major disappointment to me. But moving on from that, um, the combat movement. The combat movement is very stiff. Very stiff. Uh, especially the Hulk. I love the Hulk, but his combat is very stiff and clunky. You know, enemies can hit you and, you know, they don't register and stuff when they hit you and stuff like that or you a bunch of delayed or it doesn't have that impact and stuff you know and this goes for all characters especially iron man iron man's uh you know iron man's um flight mechanics and stuff are very stiff and stuff you can the th th this is how it is so i i don't know if i captured it and stuff but i was flying as iron man and I hit a wall, but you know how you're supposed to hit a wall and you drop down? You can just fly. You can keep flying. 
and don't go nowhere and just hit that wall and just keep flying instead of just bouncing back and forth. So I did not like that and stuff. It's very stiff. Um, you know, definitely like the best combat that was fluid was Miss Marvels. Out of all of them was Miss Marvels and maybe Black Willow, but Iron Man, the Hawk, and stuff like that definitely gotta be tweaked. You know, just just a you know just a little bit, especially the Hawk and stuff, because the Hawk is one of like you know my favorite uh, heroes. So to see him him you know be stiff and you know clunky like that, unresponsive and stuff like that, does that doesn't have that much impact. It's kind of you know at this point, especially you're in these small environment rooms and stuff, and he bounces around, he can't really move and stuff like he wants to and stuff so that it's the the the, the combat movement and stuff for all the characters need to be tweaked a little bit and stuff you know that's just me and stuff frame rate frame rate issues frame rate issues are common in this game very common in this game uh you know especially when you have a lot of enemies on screen and you're in this big battle the frame drops are are the frame rate drops like and stuff and I'm playing on performance mode now we go into the beta they put it in 4k mode uh by default you can change it to performance mode but there is some frame rate drops stuff like that not too bad to make the game unplayable but it is there and you know like like the stutter and stuff like that you no know, it's there but not too much time on that uh this is another big one and wonder why I don't I'm questioning about how long this game is going to last. So, no, it's no explorable environments or open world spaces. So, no explorable environments. Now, drop zones, yes, there are, you, you can, there are, it's like a, it's like a, like a little open, you know, uh, environment. You can, you know, explore and find chests and stuff like that, but it doesn't really feel like that. And so, it just like, it just pushes you to the objective. And then complete the objective, go back, start again. Yeah, it just pushes you forward, and then you know you get the objective completed and stuff. Move on, go back, grind, grind, um, grind it out and stuff like that. So it is not really you know that much to explore and stuff. There's no like caves, uh, you know. I know like in the Destiny they have like uh, lost sectors with like little caves or dungeons and stuff like that. I wish that they, it could have been like you know secret rooms, caves, hidden bosses and stuff. But it's just none of that. It's just the worlds are very plain. You know, it's just goes. You know, you know you try to explore, but there's, there's nothing. Just chests. Maybe there's you know a secret building that you find your way inside, you get a chest or rescue a person, but it's not really interesting to, you know, keep you from, you know, want, you know oh, let's go explore and stuff. So the, so the, in, in explorable environments need work. Just all. Okay, next, the open world spaces. Now, I don't know why they did not do this. So, like, in Destiny and stuff, you have patrols, right? And Division, you have, is like open, basically like an open world. So basically when you don't not when you don't want to do a mission but you want to play as your hero, you want to fly around, you know, you want to you know do all this stuff, you can have patrols which is just free roam. Why is there no free roam in this game? Especially in stuff for a, a superhero game, no free roam. I know I'm not I, I probably this is just the beta and stuff. Maybe they're gonna add a free roam and stuff, you know when the game comes out, I don't know. But it has to be some sort of free room or open like, you know, area. So you can just drop in, explore, get resources and stuff, test your you know, your uh your, your hero out and stuff and just have time fun with your friends. Not just doing missions back to back. Just so you could play as your hero and stuff. So I found that odd that it was no like open ended or, or, or like patrol style, uh, you know, area stuff, which which they need to add that and stuff. It'll add so much more and stuff like that. Instead of just doing a mission and it's trying to push you to, to the objective and stuff. 
And last but not least, side quests. Uh, they're basically non-existent. Just from the beta standpoint and stuff, uh, you know, like I said, you know, the explorer environments, there's no side quests and stuff, which there should be, like, no side quests and stuff like that. You know, you can to talk to a characters or help somebody, stuff like that. They're just non-existent and stuff. Now, maybe uh, if they do add, like, an open end or, or a patrol style like Destiny and maybe put some side quests while you're, uh, you no know, in, in those zones, then probably and stuff, but that's one feature that is lacking and missing. But, uh, yeah, so those are just my thoughts about the beta, um, you know, what are you, what are your guys' thoughts about it and stuff, you guys feel the same way, are you guys enjoying it, but, uh, for the most part and stuff, I am enjoying myself, it's just, uh, there's a lot of work that needs to be done with this game, um, I, if you have not, if you, if you're looking to get into the beta, uh, I'll just say wait to like an open beta and stuff. It's just, I said it from the start. This game is not gonna get grabbed onto a pe- lot of people, especially after launch. Like people might beat the main story and stuff because of the, you know, of the voice actor and the cast that they have. They might stick around for that, but you know, other than that. It, they're not gonna, uh, you know, be like kind of back to back logging in, playing, grinding out much, especially if the gear does not show on your character, which is a big issue and stuff. I hope they that they they address. But my recommendations for the beta, I can't really recommend it. Now, if you're into loot, like even if you're into loot, like loot style games and stuff, like I'm huge on that and stuff. I can't really recommend the, the beta and stuff. And, you know, since the game is so close to launch and stuff, I can't really recommend the game. Um, unless they change some things and they hear their feedback. <laughs> Remember, they have all month. If they hear, the, like, some feedback and stuff, did they tweak some things and stuff, then maybe. But for right now, uh, no, I can't recommend it and stuff. Um, you know, I'm still going to play it and stuff, you know, still having fun with it and stuff like the combat system alone and stuff. But as far as, you know, um, you know, actually, you know, hoping what it want to be, I'm pretty disappointed and stuff uh, as a loop based fan and stuff like that. Uh, but what do you guys think down below? Uh, you guys you know, let me know all your feelings down below and stuff about the game. Do you hate it? Is it alright? Is it okay? And stuff. And uh, yeah. Uh, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure that you smash the like button. You subscribe if you are new. Make sure that you click that bell notification so you get notified for every single video I upload. And yeah. Marvel's Avengers. Square Enix. This game needs help. Oh boy, boy. What are we going to do? But uh, be, on, be, be on the lookout. I have so many more videos dropping to cover and stuff. I'm going to be doing videos on Godfall and all that stuff. So uh, if you can't wait to see that, then you stay tuned. Take it easy, guys. Peace.